Today we're in Mikkeli, two hours north of Helsinki. We're here to meet Jari Varjotie, who's CEO of Savo Solar. Savo Solar produces and sells solar thermal collectors for industrial and domestic use. Let's check it out. Hi. Ole. Jari. Nice to meet you, Ole. Welcome to Savo Solar. Thank you. Savo Solar has taken the solar thermal technology to the next level. We have developed the most efficient solar thermal collectors in the world, both the small one and, and especially the large one. Uh, we are focusing in delivering the large solar thermal systems where the highly, high efficiency is one of the most important selection criteria for the customers. So from sun, we are getting two different types of energies. Electricity, meaning photovoltaic, and then solar thermal. Solar thermal, thermal is used for hot domestic water, space heating, or then industrial process heating. It can also be used for solar thermal cooling. Solar thermal business is actually bigger than uh, photovoltaic. The installed base is double compared to photovoltaic. And it's also said that the solar thermal is having the greatest potential of all renewable sources in the world. What is it that makes Savo Solar unique? What is your competitive advantage? We are the only company in the world who is able to uh, make an optical, highly efficient optical nano coating on top of a rigid part, so an, an aluminum profile absorber that we are making, and that is the core of our efficient products. Nobody else is able to make that efficient absorbers and collectors than we are doing. What would you say your key success factors are in the future? How would you build Savo Solar into a lasting and successful company? What do you need to focus on? First of all, we have to enable the growth that is visible. The market is growing and there is a demand for our product. So we have to be able to do the investments needed and have the working capital. And then, of course, to train our people to be more and more efficient when doing this. This is the first one. The second one, of course, is that we are able to, we should be able to enter other markets than we are now in, in Denmark. We are now focusing some, some new markets, but it means also when we are going up outside Europe that we have to find an, maybe an alternative way of, of doing things in South Africa or America or, or Middle East. And, and then it means that we build up, maybe we build up the production facilities over there with partners or something, but we have to be able to grow also in different places than in Europe. If we're to talk a little bit about the business, what is it that you sell and what sales channels are you using? Solar thermal systems. We are selling the installed collector field and uh, we either sell it directly to the energy companies who are then producing the energy or industrial companies who are using the the energy in, inside their processes, or then we sell it to our partners or integrators who are building this type of systems. We are also building a partner network that we can, if an energy company wants to have everything in one package, so-called turnkey delivery, that we would be able together with these partners to do everything, including water storage, heat exchangers, everything. So more and more we are selling a whole system, even though our core is the knowledge and competencies in the high efficient collectors. Where are you focusing your sales now? Do you have a primary market? Naturally, Denmark is very important for us now. We are there and it's growing and there's a lot of interest for us. The near future, we are focusing on, on Europe because there are a lot of countries who are copying the Danish listed heating uh, concept. So there will be Austria, Germany, France, Italy, Sweden. So we are also there. and. Let's say a bit further in the future, we have already studied the places like Chile, Mexico, South Africa, Australia, where the uh, industrial processes like mines are needing and building a big solar thermal system for their processes. So how many shares do you own in Savo Solar? I have about 55,000 shares and then I have 25,000 share options. What is your role as CEO? What's your most important mission? Well, I have, I think, twofolded. One, 
uh, is to lead the people to help them to achieve their results and, and, and the growth. And then additionally, of course, to increase the value of the company and, and to pay back shareholders the trust they have shown to us. Why does your heart beat for Savo Solar? What's so exciting about this company? The work in a solar thermal industry, in a clean energy, renewable energy, it's emotionally very rewarding. That's one reason everybody else, everybody is working in this industry. That's one side. The other side is that we have uh, excellent product, we, products. We have a growing market. So we have a good chance to make a real success story. So the combination of this is very accelerating. So that's why my heart is beating for Savo Solar. Thank you for a very interesting visit, Yari. Ole, thank you very much. It's just a great pleasure to have you here. Good luck in the future. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye-bye.